week. You know, these aren't jokes. These are thoughts. These are things that make you say. This may seem terrible, but my God, I didn't know you were black. You, you all see how long I've been on YouTube. No one has been more resilient, pushing more harder on YouTube than I have. I, I, I must add, Brother um, Angel Snub Nub 7, Brother uh, Talik Even Ra, many of you all have not heard of him, and it's a reason for that, that you haven't heard of brothers like that who's coming with a profound message. Every day this brother does like an hour of dissertation on YouTube, but no one's hearing him. His message is not getting out. Powerful message, more powerful than most messages that are out there. Very real, very radical, very sincere, very diligent, very consistent, and very little hypocrisy in what he speaks. At least he's true and sincere about what he's talking about. He's not doing it for money, selling no projects, trying to sell no products, trying to do lectures. He's actually coming on there, offering some critical thought and critical analysis every day consistently, but most people have not heard of him. Not because he's lazy. I see him. he got thousands of YouTube pages. I see him constantly putting out videos. But you haven't heard of them. That's by design. That's, that's, that's by design of white supremacy. That's because you all want to hear the popular message and not the real and raw message. And YouTube makes sure of that. They make sure that they can stone, constantly stomp out your Messiah. They let, they, they, they let the Messiah get further enough just for you to hear who the Messiahs are. And as soon as you hear them, bam, they cut off. Damn, job well done. It's not going to work with me. 
Every time some stupid debt collector called me, I play games with them. First of all, a debt collector has nothing to do with the justice system. In order for them to collect a debt from you, they must take you to court, prove that you owe a debt, then, after they prove it and win their case, then a judge will grant them an order of judgment. If you don't pay, then they can further proceed against you by uh, asking the court for an order of garnishment, find out where you work, garnish your money, blah, blah, blah. But as far as anything else is concerned, these old cowardly people, old uh, vultures who basically prey on the poor and those who are really trying to be honest in life, they go around trying to use these old uh, tactics to try to get you and me to pay these debts. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't owe these certain debts, but at the same time, I was locked up for 10 years. And they keep dismissing my case, wouldn't allow me to get free, wouldn't allow me to, to sue the police and these judges. They can go to hell. So all y'all debt collectors, this is the brother Tyree. I ain't giving y'all nothing. This is Tigger Man, Tigger, Tigger Man Black. Debt collector. Hey, hey, my nigga, debt collector. Hey, debt collector. I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't giving you nothing. <laughs> Uh, so don't be scared. I mean, hey, I'm telling you, the hell with them. They got to go to court. Otherwise, they don't take you to court. You don't get a subpoena in your hand. The hell Yeah. Yes, uh, I gotta go. I got to. I'm getting ready to make this video. I think they got it rolling. It's on now. Okay, I'll, I'll talk with you later, okay? No, don't don't worry about it. I got I got you covered. Just make sure you do what you do. Okay? Peace. Okay, excuse me. Just getting ready to. Actually, I didn't have nobody on the phone. I didn't have nobody on the phone. I was what you call perpetrating. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Peace, love, and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Yeah, I was I was not on the phone. I was I was just pretending like I'm talking some big stuff. I was busy, whatever. I wasn't talking to anyone. I think. It's called perpetrating a fraud in the black community. You know, being fake, false. Just like you see a lot of people walking up and down the street all the time. You know, they have these cell phones, paying all this money, not talking about nothing, just on the phone. They got to drive. They got to lean. Like they got so many friends, like they're taking care of so much business, talking on the phone. Ain't talking about nothing because I've, I've heard y'all. I've heard y'all on the phone. I've heard y'all on the phone. Your conversation, majority of the conversation, you ain't talking about nothing. Hey, man, did you watch the TV, uh, such and such on TV last night, blah, blah, blah? You're paying all this money. You're spending millions of dollars a year talking about nothing. Just give me your money. Give me some of that money. For nothing. It's a waste. Just so that you can perpetrate a fraud. That's all you're doing. Like like you really just so that so people can see I got a telephone. I got a telephone. Won't you show them them bills that you are delinquent on? You're not paying your bills. Every time you turn around, you got a new telephone number. Because you perpetrating a fraud. Wasting money, can't keep up with the bills every time you turn around, you got a new phone and a new telephone number. That's what this video is about. Folks that perpetrate a fraud. I'll tell you straight up. 
I only have a high school education. That's what I got. Okay? Now, because I have had a lot of self-learning, I'm self-taught in a lot of different areas, I could fake me up a college diploma and show it to you. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that I'm perpetrating the fraud. Because I have the talent to pull it off. But eventually, if you test me, you find out it's not so. We have brothers and sisters on YouTube. Not, on, not only on YouTube, but in general society. They talk about how spiritual. Every time you turn out, whoo, this messes with my, my head so much. I don't even. I can't hardly talk about it because it pisses. It, it just it messes with me. They always talk in spirituality. It's the spirit, God. The spirit is coming from somewhere. Either from God or some alien being. Or anyway, they are so full of spirit. Then you have those who claim to be intellectual. Well, I've read all these books. You go to their house, all these books, books all over the place, all over the wall. They got books on the table. And matter of fact, they might even have the spirit. <laughs> A lot of religious people always talk that spirit. I'm full of the spirit. I'm spiritual. Sexual spirituality, all kinds of stuff. Voodoo worship and witchcraft and all these different things. I guess that's that's wonderful. As long as you're not robbing nobody, who, who really cares, you know? You're not sticking nobody up. My thing is, and jot down your comments, send your video responses. I accept all video responses. You can even be tacky. I don't care because I probably will never watch it, but you have the right to voice your opinion. You're not going to leave your infantile, stupid comments on my page. I'm going to get rid of them. But if you make a video, I'll post your video. If somebody want to watch it, cool. I don't, I don't fear your opinion, even your infantile opinion, if you put in a video. Who cares? This is my thing about all this spirituality. We so spiritual. Higher we're 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 taking our minds into a higher plane, so you claim. We read all these books of knowledge, all these books of wisdom, we know so much. But when you talk to these people, and when you interact with these people that's so full of spirit. So full of wisdom and book knowledge, so they claim. You will see that they are nothing like they're just like the average illiterate, alcoholic, drug dope fiend, illiterate Negro out in the street. The same thing. They got two, three, four, five children. They ain't paying child support for. They don't know who the baby's daddy is. They don't get up on time to go to work. When you disagree with what they're talking about, they go ballistic and crazy because with all their spirituality, with all their intelligence, they can't defend their position. So they get mad at you and start calling you names. But you're so spiritual and you're so intelligent and know so much. Why is this? Why is this because <laughs> You're perpetrating a fraud. You want to be something that you're not. Do you know why I am what I am? It comes from life experience. It comes from the fact that I have read some books 
For real. I've learned how to apply what I learned in high school. And learn from what I've been self-taught. And how to apply those things. I've also learned what is called character, integrity, self-worth, and being real with yourself in order and being able to say, look, I don't know. If somebody is making a valid claim, I can easily say, point taken. I don't debate real truth. I have a right to question and inquire. Y'all don't want people to question and inquire because they'll find out sooner or later that you are perpetrating a fraud. You're trying to be something that you're not. You might know a little something. You might read a little something. In your mind, you might be reaching Great high spiritual heights. We'll never know because you still act like a nigga. That's why I said, well, let's say it like this. You're still acting and behaving niggardly. That's a word too. So, when I socialize or interact with you, I can't tell that you don't read all these countless books. You can go to some of these people's pages. They got all these books they don't read. But when you speak with them and interact with them, you can't tell. Because with all that knowledge, has to come some kind of, make you, it's got to bring something out. Where we can say, hey, this cat's sort of smart. But we don't. You just like any other idiot in the street. Except, you know how to perpetrate a fraud maybe a little bit better. Yeah, I'll be done with this video in just a second. <laughs> that type of thing makes me sick. It does. So if it makes you sick, pisses you off a little bit, jot down your comment, and uh, make your video responses, bring your video responses, and don't tell me you're going to do it and you don't. Please, y'all, don't, don't perpetrate a fraud. <laughs> it ain't even that serious. This your brother Tali even, even raw. Perpetrating the fraud on out of here. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth. Jot down your comments. In the name of my ass, <laughs> sorry. This subject is so funny, I just, I can't hardly even get it started. Let me see if I can do this, okay? In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome once again to another exciting and perhaps controversial edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the mighty, mighty, mighty. Angel Snub No Seven, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ross. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, this this subject is, is just so funny to me because really, now what brings me to this subject? It comes from a person that is that tells me they are a mulatto, which is fine and dandy, but usually I get this comment from full-fledged Caucasian people whatever that might be I don't really know I don't even know what I don't know what full-fledged pure white or pure black I don't know who's pure whatever I, but anyway we're just gonna say this comes from a a person who is claiming to be biracial and this is a comment something told to me all the time from Caucasian people <laughs> it's funny you know y'all really Y'all really think somebody is a damn fool, don't you? 
See the problem with a lot of these folks, these racist undercover white people, that's really the white racist, if somebody always got to talk about, I'm fighting racism, I'm not a racist, chances are that's exactly what they are. So you can call me a black racist because you're a racist yourself. It takes one to know one. My thing is that when some of these Caucasian people talk to us, they really think that we are a damn silly fool. They think, and if we reject what they're talking about, they get really angry. Look, let me tell you something. I'm not your damn slave. I don't have to listen to a nothing that you have to say. Nothing. I don't need your advice. Nothing. Period. Okay? That's, that's just the bottom line. Roll out. Like I always say, take your happy, nappy ass. Oh, y'all, your, your hair is, is straight. Take your straight, happy ass home. <laughs> okay? You must think, now, you can talk to other dark Europeans. See, you can't fool black people. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said in his lesson, can the devil fool a Muslim? And the answer is, no, not nowadays. Not nowadays, not today or ever. Your days to trick and fool people is over. And why you fear my voice, why you fear who I am, is because that voice will awaken the minds so they will no longer be tricked by your slick and manipulative talk. Which brings me to the subject matter at hand. <clears throat> This person going to tell me. I don't know why y'all whining and crying and complaining about. There are a lot of good black people in the country. They doing good. If you work hard the way they do and blase, blase, you be just like them. So who is these? Who are? Who are these good black people that the white folks like? I don't want you to like me. Because if you ever start liking me, then something must be wrong. But if I state myself exactly who I am, and you like me, that's cool. But I'm not going to change nothing. Because I know what the real deal is. But who are these? <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is a little scratchy out here in the uh, hot sun again. And I'm uh, making these videos back to back and didn't bring nothing to drink. That's my problem. But let me let me speak to us the best way I can. Who are these? This is the question. Who are these good black people that the white folks love? They're not like me. I'm a I'm a I'm a bad black people. <laughs> you might be a bad black people. Who are these good black people? I, I made a, a list. This is some of the characteristics of the good black people that these white folks these racist Caucasian people like here are some of the characteristics they never complain about white people you like that characteristics don't you don't blame it on the white people you like that that's one of the first characteristics uh, most of the time they have your religion they're not practicing no African religion they are good Good Christian people, aren't they? You know, they're Protestants or Catholics or whatever. But they, they, they belong to some European influence or European religion. They don't relate to Africa. They don't care nothing about Africa. They don't care about slavery. They don't care nothing about the civil rights movement. You know, they, they just, your, you know, they, they just, they don't give a damn about nothing. I'm, a, I'm an American. So you like that, don't you? But see... They don't care nothing about their own neighborhoods because, see, since they are so successful, they move away from out of the hood. So they leave those blacks, they leave the poor and suffering blacks to themselves, and they take their money to the rich or full of white neighborhoods and help the white folks build their neighborhoods, make sure the white folks' children get proper education by paying taxes in a neighborhood where they're, where black children can't go. Oh, yeah, so you like them. They don't care. Uh, I, you know something? You can use them. You use them to attack the black folks that have not had opportunity. 
that continue to suffer. So you can always use them as example. Look at this Negro. I mean, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Look at this black uh, fellow, this black American. He has a, he makes more money than I do as a white guy. He has a million dollar house. He has a Rolls Royce. His children go to private schools. There's no, there's no excuse for you, black guy. You can do the same thing. Oh, 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 oh. You use them as an example because you know them don't give a damn about those of whom they left behind. You will help your people and have because the country was founded and it to benefit white folks. If the white people can't benefit, don't complain to black people. Complain to your own folks. What you going to complain to me for? If they're not giving you nothing. You like the black people that teach that George Washington is the father of their country. George Washington was a slave owner. He was one that owned slaves and raped black women and everything. Slave owner. And you and you like these black folks that's proud to teach their children he's the father of our country. Did you teach your children that George Washington was a slave owner. He was a rapist. A liar and a deceiver. Didn't give a damn about black people. You was an animal. You was three-fifths of a human being to George. But he's the father of your country. That's how the father of your country view Well, things have changed. Well, if things have changed, well, how come these black people keep complaining about things? Because you deny them. If things have changed, why you have to have these laws to make it look like you give a damn about black folks? And then whatever little help you get. Oh, this is up. Uh, this is the hypocrisy. Y'all make me sick. Whatever little help Caucasian people, this government or whatever, have given black folks. You turn right around and then you make, make fun of the people. Oh, affirmative action. And you laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, the welfare. Oh, you laugh. Ha, 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 ha. You know why? Because yo, cause it was not your intent to help nobody. Because affirmative action has done nothing to help the black community. It has helped certain individuals, but we as a whole have not benefited from affirmative action. We as a people have not benefited. In fact, we have gotten worse because of integration and all your damn laws and your welfare. We've gotten worse because of your damn help. Because of your damn help. We are worse. So those are the, the kind of black people that you like. The ones that don't give a damn about other folks. The ones that won't complain about your ragged ass when they know you wrong. This is what they'll do. See, these are the type of Negroes that y'all like. They know you wrong and what they'll do. <laughs> don't worry about it. No matter what they do, no matter what white folks do, they're always going to be there to protect you. Uh, things will be better. You, what have... Ooh, man. What have Caucasian people, these racists... And I'm not going to keep trying to make a differentiation. Y'all know I'm talking about these racists. And the racists are the ones who run this country. Have always done it. But now they become slick. In how they do things. They don't have to lynch black folks with ropes. Just lynch you by denying you proper employment, proper education, all these other different things. That's how they lynch us. And then if you break the law a little bit, we'll put your ass in prison for 20, 30 years. That's how they get us. Because the justice system, the criminal system, we already know is biased. What have Caucasian people, these races, and that's who y'all dark European Negroes, that's who you protect. You don't protect the white folks that want to give you true freedom, justice, and equality. You want to protect the ones that smile in your face and lie to you and, 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 and have not given you nothing. But see, some of y'all are comfortable. You got your little house. You don't know what freedom is. Slavery is all that you know. What have these Caucasian people have done 
to make you want to love them, no matter what they do. You go just, we just, just love. Everything can be better. My next question for the dark European, the good, the good black people. Why you don't love your own folks like that? If a black man step on your shoe, you want to get an attitude. You don't like talking about Africa or slavery. But you're talking about what George Washington did. And George Washington is the father of our country. But you don't want to talk about the slaves that George Washington was oppressing. Y'all some sick people. And you sick. And you think that I'm sick. And I'm, you think I'm going to sit back and let you tell me these old sob stories. The good black people. No, those are your good modern day slaves. They got a lot of money. Highly paid, rich, voluntary, dark European that call themselves black slaves. Because black folks ain't going for it. Now when you show remorse, when you offer sincere apology, when we show when you show and give sincere help, not make no damn laws, not no little scraps, some affirmative action ain't no but some scraps. Your little welfare, some scraps. When black people in this nation have paid our taxes, we fought in every war, and free slave labor, and over 300 years of underpaid labor together have made you trillions of dollars, and you give us, in the black community we have nothing. Then all y'all suckers from all these other races and cultures, you come into the black community and reach out for us. Then you take our money and you take it in, our money and, and take it into your own communities to build yourselves up. Then you come back. Then you have to learn the lot. Those days are over. Those days are over. And that's why you don't like Angel Snuffing Up 7. Because those days are over. Because if the people listen to this message or the message by anybody else like me, your game is over. And I'm telling you now, this is the beginning of the end of your exploitation of these black people because we don't deserve it. We deserve a right to, to live and be comfortable and be happy just like your ass. And I'm sick of it. And all of us under the who are black or called black under the sound of my voice, you should be sick of it and you should not want to pass this on to your children. These demons, get out of my face. You have tricked your last black man with that nonsense. Wasn't that a nice talk? <laughs> Thank you for listening. Let us think for ourselves. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra, the Angel Snap Number 7. See you later on on Angel Snap Number 7 Warrior, Andre Edmund, 69. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth. forever and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, in the name of my ancestors. <clears throat> I am the angel something up seven, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. What inspires me to make this video is that I was watching a video by my sister my favorite little sister Gata Aggressiva I think that's how it's pronounced 411 and uh, her video is in my favorites and or you can go to her channel and she was speaking about being raped and she disabled the comments, um, or the I think she I think she, yeah she she disabled the comments or she put the comments on approval because we have silly people in YouTube land, especially if they don't have a liking to you, that will 
make mockery of your hurt and pain. I think that it is a it was a very brave thing for my little sister to place a camera before her and tell this uh, tragic story that should not happen to us, but many women suffer being raped and uh, sexually abused and uh, assaulted. And she wanted to share her experience so that perhaps someone else in YouTube land or well it has to be YouTube land um, that experienced the same thing know that they are not alone and perhaps it will inspire them to be brave enough to testify or bring the one of whom done this horrible thing to them to justice. Um, in my opinion, uh, there is no uh, punishment. Um, I can't. I can only see, really, it being very extreme or death itself. That's the only punishment I can see when you violate a person like that. Regardless, as you know, men get raped also. When you violate someone like that, it's, I know that it's a, it's a terrible feeling uh, of being helpless and hopeless. And uh, I sort of can identify with her situation because I was not physically raped, but I was mentally raped, basically. As many of you know, I was uh, I suffered 10 years in a mental institution for no valid criminal or uh, medical reason. I was placed in that situation and I was done uh, and acted upon just because they had the power to do so and they done it. If Gata or Gata Aggressive for 411 can uh, put her story out in the public. Perhaps uh, that should make me brave enough to say something that I kept uh, a little inside uh, for all these years. And what I want to say to us very quickly, because my time is running out, is that I felt hopeless. There was a time. See, men don't, men are taught not to cry. But I'm telling you, I was placed in this mental institution of which some people, when they don't like you, they come on YouTube and they write these comments, I see why you was in a mental institution. Because they don't like you. But, uh, I was placed in a situation and I was told outright you can be here the rest of your life unless you allow us to make you into something we know that you know that you're not but you need to do that in order for us to set you free what do you want to make me I want to make you an insane criminal mental patient that's why you was brought here, because you committed a crime, and you are insane as far as we're concerned. And when you leave here, you need to understand, boy, that's what you are. So, and if you don't, we'll hold you until you break, or you'll be here to the rest of your, for the rest of your life. I used to sit at the window in my room, and the room... You're sitting behind glass and it's bulletproof, unshatterable type glass. And I used to watch the birds fly and watch the people go up and down the street. And I knew I did not want to accept being made into a criminal, being made into a mental patient. I was made to go to, to all these 
classes for those who were repeat criminal offenders. And I was made to go to these classes that talk about mental illness. I cannot relate to these people and their delusional and paranoid behaviors. I don't experience those things. I cannot relate to a man who steal and rob and murder because I'm not no criminal. But if I don't accept this, then I'm doomed to die behind cold glass and steel. So there's a feeling of hopelessness that come on you. So I used to sit there in front of my window and look out. And I cried to God. I cried to Allah. I cried to Jesus. And I was like Jesus on the cross when he called up to the Father, Why have thou forsaken me? And I admit, I cried. Because there's no hope. All hopeless. All hope was gone. I felt hopeless. There was no light at the tunnel. So I just had to since I knew I was never going to accept being a criminal, an insane mental patient, then I had to accept my reality that I was going to be locked up away from society and my family and all the things and my hopes and the little dreams that I had, I had no chance. It was over. And I sit on my bed and I cry like a damn baby. Because I felt hopeless. Almost had, almost had thoughts of suicide. Taking a bed sheet and putting it over the, the top of the door and hanging myself. Because if I'm going to be here the rest of my life, what kind of life am I going to have all locked up? That's not no life. There's no benefit to live like that. The only one who is getting benefit is the mental institution that makes $600 a day from my body laying in this bed in this room. A feeling of hope. Crying like a baby. Grown man. Thinking about suicide. But as you can see, it did not happen. I did not give my enemies the pleasure of going out like that. I began to change my thinking. And the first thing I thought about was my ancestors who came over here in the hold of ships, who laid in their own feces, who laid in their own urine, who was treated like an animal. If they, for 300 years, endured this type of treatment, this ain't nothing. So stand up, Negro. You who are the sin of the slave. That's what I had to tell myself. Stop being hopeless. The fact that you're living today is the hope. Look deep and down yourself and grab that which caused your ancestors to survive this torture with a smile. And that's what I've done. So now you have me here today on YouTube stronger than ever. You can't break me. They tried it. There's nothing that you can say that can hurt my feelings. There's nothing that you can do can break me. There's not, not enough. There's no money that can buy me. So now, hopelessness has turned into high self-esteem. This is your brother, Tali, keeping raw. This was and is the reality, reality's temple on earth. Peace. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. 
I am the host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Tali Even Rock. Want to go ahead and make this as quick as possible, try to get everything that I want to say within the the confines of these little ten minutes that uh, I have the privilege of having, thanks to YouTube, and I would like to thank YouTube for giving me this opportunity. The uh, subject of this video is called Warning to the Dumb White People. And I want to say to those of you who are Caucasian, when I say dumb white people, I am not trying to be disrespectful, but we all are dumb or ignorant in certain things. In order for some governments to control the masses or their citizenship, they make their citizens dumb. They keep their citizens ignorant. They keep their minds in places so they don't pay attention to what government is doing. So that should not be a shock that we are dumb. It should not be a shock that we are ignorant, but when truth or a knowledge or some information comes to us, we should investigate and we should open up our minds. The problem is staying dumb, staying ignorant. There are black people who do not like white folks, all white people. But what I want to say to us is that all of us have been made ignorant. All of us have been exploited. If the white man is poor, if the white man is middle class, if the white man is not part of the upper echelon of government, is not, is not in the upper echelon of power, not necessarily that he is the president or he is a communist person, but there are forces in America that we don't know nothing about that control how we think because they control the media. They control the history books. They control these things so they can brainwash, brainwash us to make us think how they want us to think. Warning to the dumb white people, especially in America. American white people have become so dumb and ignorant and silly. Watch them on MTV, VH1. Look at these reality shows. Look how stupid and ignorant and crazy and wild and immoral these white people are. But yet and still, they believe they should be the controllers or they should be the leadership of the world. They have become dumbed down. They are living in a false world. They don't know their own history. Have not you seen Jay Leno go out on the streets and question white people? They don't know nothing about their government. They don't know nothing about their history. They don't know anything. But then when black people stand up and they talk about the history, especially the evil and wicked history of this nation, if you don't even know who the third president of the United States is, what the hell can you argue with me about what happened in history to black people or the science behind you think slavery was just working from sun up to sun down slavery was a mentality you turned a free people into an animal a beast of burden and then this they lived in this condition for over 300 years you don't know what nothing is how to be or the condition you don't know nothing about being a slave you don't know nothing about being living under Jim Crow you are stupid. Most of these white people, they are addicted to drugs. They are the main drug users, illegal and legal. They are the fornicators. They are the adulterers. They are the, uh, all these things. They are the alcoholics. They are the full of sex addiction. Their minds are easily brainwashed. If their white brothers who control the TV advertise Coca-Cola. They run out and buy Coca-Cola. They run out and buy Pepsi. They run out and buy Masasi 
and Gucci because they said, because their brothers and sisters said, this is good for you. And they so brainwashed and they go broke doing it. Just like black people. Don't you understand that white people have been conditioned just like black folks have? And white folks also are divided to a certain point. They will protect this country, but this white man might hate the other white man because this white man is a Democrat, the other is a Republican. There was a case where a white man shot another white guy because he was not a Boston Sox fan. Silly stuff. They are divided also. White men always are fighting white women over equal rights. The same thing. They are messed up also. They follow their preachers. Whatever their preachers say, they go for it. They are also dead. They are mentally dead and brainwashed. How can they be so smart when they drunk? How can they be so smart jumping from bed to bed? Woman to woman, man to man, man to woman, involved in pornography. When you are, when your head is filled with pornography, when your head is filled with these fantasy religious ideas that God is going to drop out the sky and change everything, they are also waiting on some miracle. So the government Knowing that the people are waiting on some miracle, they say, good. We can continue to do what we want to do. What do you want to do, government? We want to continue to be a troublemaker and parasite the other nations of the earth for our benefit. Why do you think America is so rich? America is so rich because of 300 years of slave labor. America is so rich because they exploited white people, Irish the Chinese immigrants that came here, that's why they're rich. They are rich because they go to other countries and exploit their poor and exploit their governments. They use religion to keep the people dead in the mind. What do you want to do? And the people are so stupid. That's why I'm saying that this video is called Warning to the dumb white people. Y'all need to wake up your mind. See, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. If the white people, the average man in the street, let me tell you something now, again. I keep telling you something. Man. Look, I drove around the country with white people in trucks. I've been to some white, all-white town. They never seen a black man before. I had conversations with the average white guy, average white woman in the street. They don't have problems with reparations. They don't have problems. They understand, a lot of them can understand the struggle of black liberation. It is their government leaders. It is their media, the rich, that's doing this and keeping them messed up in the head. A lot of them understand. There's a... Uh, a white man who understands what has happened named Tim Wise. Watch his video. As a white man, he understands what has happened. He understands this, what white supremacy has done. You get angry at the wrong Caucasian people. It's not Billy Bob in the street. It's not Tom Jones that work at the coal factory. If these Caucasian people in leadership positions, those who control media, those who control the government, those who control education, those are the ones that influence and like Bill of Truth for Loneliness says, have dumbed down the masses of the people, including Caucasian people. You think they are so smart. They devil the evil and wicked. They are also exploited by their own brothers and sisters who are in higher positions and who are more intelligent. Because they don't keep their minds filled up with drugs. They are not alcoholics. They are not sitting at some computer full of pornography. Why do white people continue to trust their leaders? Was their weapons of mass destruction like George Bush said? No. But you still support your lying ass government. Why? Because you dumbed down. Barack Obama said in his campaign, 
I will take the troops out of Iraq and Afghanistan, but they're still there, and you accept that. Why, white people? Because you're dumbed down. Stop being dumbed down. Stop being dumb, white people. Open up your mind. See what it is. Open up to reality. You have been fooled, not by black people, but by your own, who export you. They got you full of drugs and liquor and got you all messed up. Shut down your comments. Time is running out. Think about it. Think for yourself for a change. Forget what the hell Coca-Cola is talking about. Thank you for listening. This was and is the Reality is Temple on Earth. Watch as we pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Ashe. In fact, I tend to the garden of the mind and the pool of the soul daily, praying ceaselessly with boldness, casting my cares on the provider of all things. The protection I have is truth based in wisdom mission being to eradicate ignorance. With persistent due diligence, I step on devils. As holy breath speaks the straight path to eternal life, whom shall I fear? This is much more than rhetorical acrobatics set to rhythm. Our work is an in-depth analysis into the houses built where the soul resides with precision. As J. Dave says, balance is... My black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like that's the king, we make it plain and simple. Bring knowledge and fire at reality temple. Reality temple. My black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like that's the king, we make it plain and simple. Bring knowledge and fire at reality temple.